Hey, and welcome to Internet Roundup. I'm Chuck. That's Josh. You good? Totes. Did you get a call? <laughs> no, I was just, I got messages coming out of my ears. I got binders full of messages. So we round up the internet here, uh, two stories at a time, as is uh, per tradition. And we're going to start with the story of the Hatton Garden Raid. And this is interesting. It was a jewelry, jewelry uh, store robbery in England, a burglary. Well, it was a place where people store jewelry. It was like a safe, de- like a... Yeah, like a bank for jewelry. Right. But it was it was like a bank, but all it had were safe deposit boxes full of jewels. Yes, apparently, and uh, it's notable for a couple of things. One, it may be the largest, most expensive burglary in the history of England. That's saying something because England's been around a while. Uh, if you believe the internet, it's two hundred million pounds. If you believe this article, it's twenty million, fourteen million pounds. I, I twenty million the internet on that because how is fourteen million? I think this is an error. I think it is, too. So uh, the other thing it's notable for is the five men were senior citizens. Yes, ages 61 to 75, from what I understand. And they, they got caught, and now they're going to be serving years and years in prison. Yeah, let's take a look at these guys. Um, it looks like looks like something out of a movie. Like It really does. Michael Caine and uh, right. Bob, well, Bob Hoskins has passed away, right? Yes. I think so. So he wouldn't be in it. No, but if it were made in the the nineties, early it would have been Bob Hoskins for sure, for sure. Or maybe how about uh, Ray Winstone? He mm-hmm. would be in it. Yes. And um, who else? Ian McShane. Yeah, he'd he'd be good. And they'd probably just get <laughs> Tom Hardy to do it, but put him in like older makeup because right, he's got to be in every movie. Right. Uh, so it's interesting that these guys are old dudes, but um, apparently they were all sort of lifelong criminals. Um, but because it's England, they are still. Um, they're dapper still gentlemen. Dapper gentlemen and said thank you when they walked and talked into the judge and when they walked into the courtroom. Yeah. Because they're very mannerly over there. Yep. Even the criminals. They really are. And apparently the mastermind um, had a second stroke and was too ill to even attend to be sentenced. But he, he said from his hospital bed, tell the judge I said thank you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tell that bloke I said thank you. Yeah. So uh, that's not a whole lot of time behind bars, considering seven years when you're seventy-one. Well, when you're seventy-one, but I guess or since no, it, seventy-five. Since John it, Kenny yeah. Collins is seventy-five. Yeah, he he may make it out. Yeah, depends I mean, on his health. They don't look super healthy. There's been though. tremendous advances in medicine and in prison medicine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so sure it'll be fine. We'll see. I guess because it wasn't a violent crime. Uh, they weren't hit with too long of a sentence. No. But, uh, yeah, senior citizens still doing what they can in England Yeah, to be relevant. One last heist. That's right. It's a movie, I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. very, very soon. Uh, and, Josh, you found this neat little item. On Snopes, which is a wonderful site. It is. Snopes used to, it worked very hard to get cred. Sure. Um, And it... It has legitimized itself. I think it's always been legitimate. It's just like, just from sheer work. Yeah. It's like Snopes is a go to sure. fact check place. Isn't it just like a husband and wife team? Originally, it Originally? started. And I think more the, the wife, um, Barbara, I can't remember her last name, even more. Barbara Snope? No. Um, but like, if you go look at the bottom of most of the articles on Snopes, Barbara wrote most of them. Oh, did she, uh, she nudge him out? Nudge him out of the way? Oh, oh, I thought you meant like she's nudging articles out. No. Like, n- that's n- not how you write articles. <laughs> nudging her husband out. Uh, no, she's probably like, I-, I got this. Okay. Yeah, you go back to sleep. Uh, so this is about this very uh, widely circulated photo uh, from February of this very year, mm-hmm. 2016, um, that was titled The World's Cutest Rodent. Yes, and it purported to show a rodent and if you look closely, you see that it's actually made of felt. Wow. So some people were like, that doesn't exist. And Snopes swooped in and said, oh, au contraire, mon That's frere, right. it does exist. That yes. is, as a matter of fact, this is a felt, this is a picture of a felt version of an actual rodent called the Baluchistan Pygmy Jerboa. And it, it it's is adorable. Ridiculously adorable. If, as you can see, there's video of the Jerboa going right now. Yeah, it's a hopper. Ooh. And uh, it's it looks like um, someone took the cutest mouse, removed its middle section, 
squashed it together yeah. and took off its front legs. Uh, uh, well, it's it's shortened. Oh, do they have front Sh- legs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, okay. So it's, they're shortened, and then they took their back legs and stretched them out. Right. <laughs> so it's a weird-looking thing, but it's also- Kind of big feet, too. Adorable, right. Very adorable. Yeah. So while um, I think this is a win-win, while it's sad that uh, it was not a real photo and people were kind of tricked, it, they should have just put a real photo. Well, I think um, the person who pinned it, I think it originally showed up on Pinterest. Yeah. There are people out there, especially if you go to like a Japanese craft or paper store, Uh there's like really intricate, involved crafts that you can do with stuff like felt, making things like that pygmy jerboa out of felt. Yeah. Um, And they're really difficult and really involved. So somebody was just showing off like their craft project and some dumb dumb on the internet was like, oh, look at this. Right. And then someone else said, that's not real. And then finally Snope swooped in and said, and Barbara, shut up everybody. Yeah, Barbara. I don't think Barbara wrote this one. Oh, she didn't. um, But one of her uh, protégés did. Well, it sure is cute, and um, I would like to buy one of those little felt things. I'm sure... Just to have. You can find one. Yeah. I wonder if they make good pets as well. The felt ones do. They do? (laughs) They don't eat much? They don't talk back. (laughs) Nothing. All right, so hats off to you, uh, Baluchistan Pygmy Jerboa. And whoever made that felt Jerboa. Kudos. Kudos. Uh, So that's Internet Roundup for this week, I reckon. And uh, we will be back in the corral next week. Have a safe flight.